Hey, 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 everybody, what's up? It's Agent Nemitz, and today we're coming back to you with a snapshot video. Uh, there is some awesome changes in today's video. The snapshot literally just came out, I think, like 30 minutes ago, and I've been uh, looking at all the features, making sure I know everything to come to you guys with the most information possible. Now, I don't go over the um, bug fixes usually. Um, someone asked me to check the player heads though, so we're gonna be checking that in this snapshot as well, as long as long along with the new features, but uh, yeah, let's dive right into it. I actually spawned on this really cool island. Uh, I spawned right, like right there, and it's an island, and there's a, there's a shipwreck here. So like it was literally shipwrecked onto the island, which is super cool. And actually, this this boat had all three chests. I don't know why I'm exploring this, but like, look, that's that's some good loot. That's some really good loot. If you like started out here, and then there was a chest down here as well, right here. Not bad. I mean, you get a s suspicious too. There's also the other chest in there with the um, map. But all right, <laughs> I just thought that was pretty cool. Um, if you want to know the seed, I can maybe put it in the description if you're interested. So okay. Uh, this is everything that is in this update. Bam, we're done. No, just kidding. Uh, the lectern has a new has a new item texture. Uh, it's 3D model in the item thing, um, but then it also has functionality now. The cartography table now has functionality, and we got a new block. The campfire, super awesome. Uh, we're gonna be going over all these changes uh, and or as to like how these work but first off look at these smoke particles that's amazing that is so awesome i love that so much that would be so cool if like we could implement that into uh different uh, different things um but yeah okay let's just let's go right to the first thing the first thing on our agenda is to show you how to craft the campfire and all the functionalities of it so this is the stuff that you need you don't need as much of this as i have but it's a pretty easy thing to get off the bat because you punch three wood you get or punch four wood or four logs you get some sticks and then a piece of coal and you got yourself a campfire um that's pretty simple so you can place this down it has smoke coming off it you can see the texture it's like uh wood and it almost looks like it's i don't think it's quite to the slab height uh, I think it's more so of a let's let's grab some snow layers to compare and then let's also grab um, the day the daylight sensor or day night daylight sensor yeah I said that right so slab see it's a little shorter than a slab actually it's about half of it um, the daylight sensor it's actually one shorter than the daylight sensor too so uh, it is the equivalent oh wow so it's even it's in between two and three snow layers. So it's it's a whole new height added into the game. That's pretty cool. So this is what it looks like. And there's some functionality with this actually. Uh, act oh, and to craft it, you don't need just logs. You can use uh, the stripped logs. You can use the wood and the stripped wood also. It's like the bark blocks and the stripped bark blocks. You can use those to craft this as well. But the cheapest way is to just use normal logs. Uh, yeah, so. That's that. Uh, I don't think you can use charcoal, but look, we can check real quick for the crafting recipe. Uh, let's do this. Put this in there. Oh, you can use charcoal. Nice. So you can use charcoal too if you wanted to. Um, yeah, so there's some functionality along with this. Uh, that's what all this is in here for. First off is the hay bale. So you can see there's an, a decent amount of smoke coming off of it right now. But if we were to put a hay bale underneath of it, this thing look how much more smoke comes off now it's just pumping out smoke uh, and this isn't a bug this is a feature in it because it's almost like a smoke signal pretty cool huh and also since it's turning night let's do slash time set night as well yeah uh-huh and you can see it does emit light the light level it emits is um, 15 is it, it shares no we're getting 15 from sky it emits nine nine from the block so this is a nine light level emitter right here pretty cool I like that um, and it looks really cool too I really like this texture um, a great new feature into the game uh, why did that not go away but then uh, there's some more functionality along with it it can actually cook things it can cook up to four things so uh, there's no like inventory or GUI to it you just right click on it 
and see look that went on there uh, we can use do there do there I didn't grab pork chops but you can anything that can be cooked food wise can be on there pretty cool huh and actually the only difference with this is it takes way longer for it to cook uh, that was in the change log let's try doing some ores see if it does ore I doubt I highly doubt it does but uh, once, once these are done by the way they also just pop off yeah you see I just got uh, cooked chicken because it just pops off there's the mutton the steak and the other chicken will go eventually let's see nope can't right click that on there can't right click that on there so it's specifically for food just like the smoker very cool let's actually go into game mode whoops game mode survival and see yes you do take damage from it as if it's uh, fire not a whole lot of damage it looks like half a heart but uh, there's one last feature with this and that is there is a lit and an unlit version of this so if you right click this you can see it's actually waterloggable block let's pick that back up and let's actually go back into creative mode slash game mode creative and yeah look so this is the unlit texture it almost looks like coal was splattered in and around or maybe charcoal in and around um, let's make it let's make it day too just so you can see better uh, yeah so look it's like charcoals on there and I don't know if you can light it again let's maybe grab flint and steel see if you can light it I haven't tested this yet hey you can you can light it back up cool so that, yeah there's a lit and an unlit version and maybe it burns out eventually I don't know it's not in the changelog you'd have to check that out for yourself so yeah that is I feel like I'm going really in depth with this uh, with this uh, snapshot video today I usually don't go super in depth like this but hey why not right all right so the next thing that we're gonna go over is the lectern and you need slabs and bookshelf to craft it it can be any slab you can mix slabs as well um, and yeah so this is how you craft it right here slab bookshelf slab 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 in the T shape and you get yourself a little bit of a lectern so let's put it right here actually just because I want to do some things with it eventually but uh, so let's look at some of the functionality uh, I already writ a book I wrote a book you can right click it on there that's how it works you right click and it has the same book texture as the uh, enchanting table it looks like um, but anyway so you can right click on it uh, whoa hey creeper <laughs> this is a new amazing feature everyone can read it once redstone question mark and yes uh, everyone can read this at once whatever page you're looking at and everyone else is looking at because multiple people can right click on this at once it's a very nice multiplayer feature for books um, and until someone switches the page uh, then it switches for everyone as well it has a flipping page noise listen nice um, until someone flips the page or takes the book then it uh, it goes away so yeah you right click it on there to, to put it in there and you right click to read it now uh, it has a redstone feature as well so or well and real quick let's show you this if you can put an empty book and quill in there it just doesn't have anything right and you can't edit it edit a book in there you have to write it and then put it in there if that makes sense to you but yes so it has redstone features let's put some redstone out of it and you see it connected to it instantly see that connects to that little red part um, let's put a book in there see no redstone came out of it yet but if I go in and flip the page you see the redstone light up so every time you flip the page redstone lights up that's pretty cool huh let's we can actually extend the signal by going like this so let's see that yeah and just to further hear the noise yep so now you know it has redstone functionality pretty cool huh I like that a lot now there also is a feature with a comparator I have to do it this way oh my uh, let's go like this so you can keep track of what page it's on um, using this let's go like this so you know there's up to a hundred possible pages now but redstone only goes up to 16 so for instance we just flipped it and you see it extended it let's go back and it looks like it's only lighting up to here let's actually extend this further just so we can 
for better testing purposes, let's extend it all the way out to here. And then put this. So, whoops, not that way. That way. Alright, so this is on page number one. Page number two. Wow, it even extended it already. So I think the more pages you have, the further it'll extend. Um, that's my hypothesis, at least. But yeah, and then when you get to like the last page, it probably will go further. Um, so it looks like on page two, it went all the way out to here, which is looks like about eight blocks. <clears throat> and I go to the next page, and it probably goes to the full 16. And it probably varies depending on how many uh, pieces of redstone you have added to it. But yeah, this is like a full on redstone block. It's in the redstone tab and everything. So if you go to redstone, scroll down, lectern right there. Um, that's really cool. I'm excited for that. That'll be a nice feature. Um, before we go to the next feature, here's the player heads. Um, actually, the friend who asked me to do this was Pride Ceratops. They said that it was messed up. The um, heads were messed up. So I don't see any problem with the heads now. I can put them in my inventory. Um, yeah, they, they don't look... They don't look messed up anymore to me. Um, so there you go. There's that little feature or bug fix probably squashed and fixed. The, and the last feature for this video is none other than the cartography table. So this is all you need to craft it is two pieces of paper and two pieces of wood. It can be any wood um, and it has to be paper. So uh, then there it is right there. Still the same texture looking very fancy. Uh, you can right click on it now and it has a GUI. Look at this. So for cart cartography table, it has a slot plus a slot and probably like equals this and then the output. So there's multiple different things you can do with this and I'm going to show you everything right now. So you have a map. That's what the top slot, slot is for, for maps only. And then you can extend the map. You know how in the past you'd have to like surround it in a crafting table? Well now it's just one piece of paper and does it extend? No. So anyways, you can do that and like add another one. There we go. Add another one. And cause you know, it goes up to I think four. Unknown map, what are you talking about? Oh wow, we're in the lower corner. <laughs> but yeah, so there you go. And then there's a new feature that they added. You can lock the map now. So let's actually duplicate this map real quick. Uh, oh yeah, you can actually duplicate maps. Uh, do I have an empty map? Yeah. So let's put that in there. You can duplicate maps in here too. Put an empty map in. You see it does the two. You get two out of it. <clears throat> but you can also lock the map now. And what locking the map allows... I think you can still copy it, yeah, but you can't... How do you know which one's blocked? Uh... I think it was this one. Wait, maybe I can put it in there and tell? No. 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 Well, one of them is locked. I, I don't know if this feature is broken or what the deal is. Oh, maybe it's already locked, so. Okay. Um, but yeah, it's locked, so we can't do things like. I don't think you can add the banner effects to it anymore, because, you know, you could put right click a banner down, put it on there. Oh no, you still can. Okay, well, I was wrong. Maybe this is broken too. Oh, we can't do it anymore anyways. It says not allowed because it's probably already locked. So, yeah. I don't know what locking the locking it does exactly. Maybe it prevents it from expanding. Let's lock this one real quick and see if we can expand it more. We can duplicate it. Can we expand it? Let's put that in there. No, okay. So it locks it from being expandable. That's, that's cool. I like it different change can I right click yeah I can still right click that on there so all right tested out some features in that that I didn't know about but yeah that's the new functionality oh huh so only things in your hotbar get X now interesting but yeah that's all that I have to show you all for this video uh, wow look at that smoke signal we can see it from really far away that's cool man I like that I hope they implement like chimney possibilities with that or we could probably put that in our chimney and create smokestacks oh the possibilities the possibilities i'm telling you that's going to be it for this video though i hope everyone enjoyed 
If you did, leave a like for me. Subscribe if you're new or haven't subscribed already. It looks like it does get capped off by a block. Very interesting. Um, yeah, subscribe if you're new or haven't subscribed already, and I will see you all in the next video. So take care, have a great day, and bye-bye.